he drove it in the fairways, hold a few putts and dominated the four par fives to the tune of five under on route to shooting seven under 65. It felt as good as it has for a long time, he said of his game. Good enough to stake him to a two-stroke lead over Bo Hasseler and JJ Spown during the first round of the 2022 Arnold Palmer Invitational at a course where McElroy's a past champion, 2018, and recorded five consecutive top tens, the longest active streak at the tournament. Not quite of the same level as Tiger Woods winning eight times here, but none too shabby. It's one of these courses that I don't feel like I have to do anything special to compete, McElroy explained on Wednesday. I can play within myself. You take care of the par fives here. You play conservatively the rest of the way, especially how the golf course here has been set up the past few years. You play for your pars, and then you try to pick off birdies on the par fives and some of the easier holes. If you just keep doing that day after day, you're going to find yourself around the top of the leaderboard. API, Leaderboard PGA Tour Live on ESPN Plus MC Elroy, who in the CJ Cup in October, cited a goal of winning six times this year and said his game felt sharp coming out of the Genesis Invitational. To find the winner's circle more frequently, he noted there are two keys, he needs to hit more than 60% of his fairways, he hit 57. 35% of fairways last season, which ranked no. 145 on tour, and his rough proximity on approach shots ranked number 154, and improve his proximity inside 150 yards, he ranked number 141 from 75 to 100 yards. On Thursday, his tee game was on point as he had 15 of 18 fairways. I think, when Rory's on with his driver, there's no one better in the world than Rory with a driver, said Graham McDowell, who opened with 4 under 68. You can really kind of bring this course slightly to its knees. Not totally to its knees, but slightly if you drive it well here. When he's hitting it straight like today, it's easy to kind of make any course look fairly simple from there," added Adam Scott, who played in McElroy's threesome and fired a 68 of his own. McElroy also was pleased with his long iron play, noting a pair of four irons that he hit on numbers 6 and 12 to set up birdies. They were probably two of the best long irons I had in a while, he said. When I start hitting long irons like that, I know my swing is in a pretty good place. While Bay Hill certainly rewards good driving, Scott said McElroy's game was hitting on all keys. I thought his speed, his putting was beautiful today, Scott said. You've got to hold a few putts to get to 7 under around here. I thought all of his game looked really good. McElroy has found his rhythm on the greens, highlighted by a 41-foot eagle putt at the par 5 16th, which was the longest eagle putt of his tour career. No way, McElroy said when told of the feat. 